Thank you, um, Mr. President. I just felt compelled to speak briefly as someone who grew up in Massachusetts, was a Republican in Massachusetts, who was the son of a state senator, who was a Republican state senator. Uh, I will tell my colleagues there are 40 members of the Massachusetts State Senate, and uh, they don't have to worry about a supermajority because there are five Republican, well now four Republican state senators. Uh, and I also used to have a pickup truck with almost 200,000 miles on it. Um, I want to speak, I'm in favor of the bill, I'm a co-author. I want to speak more about the dialogue. To suggest that one election all of a sudden should stop dialogue in the United States of America about the most intractable public policy issue of probably the last 60 years. Republicans and Democrats, presidents of both parties, have tried to do something about health care in the United States. I agree with uh, the senators who have said we have the best health care system in the world. Unfortunately, it's the best for only a few. As a former small business person, I remember a staff person coming to me and we were paying for her health care. Um, it was her choice, but she came in tears and said she couldn't afford the deductible, so I had to pay the deductible. So I would suggest that in this discussion, the idea that we shouldn't bring this bill forward because of something that happened 3,000 miles away and that we as a country should stop talking about it, that's the wrong attitude. I think that's what the people want us to talk about. We want to, they want us to cease talking against each other as much as we need to do that and represent our own philosophical opinions, but also engage in solutions. And I would suggest that we do that in California, that we vote on this bill, that we have this lively debate, but tomorrow perhaps we engage in the discussion even further. And I will end with a quote from Woodrow Wilson that I've been thinking a lot about recently just about reform. Woodrow Wilson said, if you want to make enemy in politics, suggest change. I would suggest that we change that and we start working together. And lastly, I would just like to commend the author for bringing it forward. Um, this is no small matter of courage, I think, to continue such a debate in this kind of environment. Thank you.